So today we're gonna be doing the ultimate stair challenge. We have 25 levels of pain here and we're gonna try to see which vehicle can make it to the top in this awesome new map by Spieler. So stay tuned until the end to see how far we make it and let's jump in. All right, here we are. We're gonna start here with the basic D series. We are on level one. Let's see how far we can make it. Uh, comment down below with the D series. I think this makes it to level, I'm gonna say 12. Oh my goodness, I just broke it on level three. <laughs> okay, this is gonna be a little harder than I thought it was gonna be. You know, the bad thing is people are gonna be like, hey Komodo, you should do some random parts. And you know what? I might be here for that because I have some monster truck parts that might help this. So let's size up the D-Series. I've got all my mods enabled right now, so I have a really, really big selection of vehicles that I can use here today, but let's just find one that's a little bit bigger. So this is probably a little bit more proper test uh, for the D-Series here. This is the crawler. Okay, this one, I think we're gonna make it up to, I'm gonna go level 10. So let's go and slow it down. Uh, the D-Series before, I think going too fast probably helped break it but it wasn't gonna make it up too far. You need something with big tires here. So here we go, that's level five. Oh, uh, might need to go into low gear. We might knock our uh, our cases on here too, hold on. Let's go level six here. Okay, doing a pretty good job so far. Oh, we bottomed out. Okay, so let's go low gear. You know, I actually think we bottomed out on the little sidebar there. Uh oh, we might be stuck, hold on. Let's see if I can rock this thing to go for it. All right, let's go back and then, mm, mm. There we go. Yeah, the uh, the little side rail was catching there, which is a bit of a concern if it caught on that level. All right, here comes level seven. All right, we got this. Oh my goodness. Up, oh, up. Oh, come on, come on. I'm telling you, it's almost like it's a little too long. And oh my goodness, we broke the rear drive shaft. Okay, let's see if we can get up to level eight at least. Uh, I think I might be wrong about this thing making it to level 10. Hold on. Hold on, maybe that's gonna help because it's out to the side. No, it's not. I'm just bottoming in. I think it's too long, actually. All right, so we're gonna say this thing made it to level seven. So what we're gonna do, uh, I'm gonna park it over to the side here. Uh, that way you guys can compare here at the end of the episode. So most certainly a purpose-built rock crawler, something that's a little less uh, stretched out. This thing should make it. I think this one makes it, uh, I'm gonna guess level 11. I think level 11 is pretty reasonable. Now, I do have some cheap vehicles, of course, that we're gonna be able to use uh, towards the end. I've got pretty much all my mods uh, that I had tucked away in my folder enabled, so we've got a lot of stuff to try here. I'm just trying the stuff that I actually think would make it, especially out of uh, kind of like the base game, uh, your more lore-friendly vehicles, but yeah, we're probably gonna have to go to some bigger stuff here in a second. All right, so this is level six. Okay, doing this with ease right now. Probably can go in low gear here in a second. I might need it for level seven. Uh, you need those back tires to catch and crawl up. So here we go, level seven. Uh, what are your guys' strats? Would you go fast on this, or are you do would you do it the way I'm doing it right now, where you kind of just slowly climb up? I feel like fast, you have a better chance of like damaging your vehicle. So here we go. Uh oh, no! You got to be kidding me. Wait, maybe the longness of the last D-Series was good. Hold on, let's try to do this at an angle here. See, the problem I have is it's catching the suspension. I mean, this is pretty much a vertical climb here. There we go. Yeah, maybe speed is going to be the thing. you got to launch yourself over it a bit. Okay, so we're on level 8. Here comes level 9. So we'll wait until we touch the front tire, and then we'll gun it here. Oh, my goodness. Wait, 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 maybe. Yeah, okay, come on. Okay, this is where... Okay, we're in low gear. Hold on, it's locked the case lock the rear real quick uh, come on just grab no okay I haven't given up on this huh? I'm gonna back it off here I, I still think we're uh, we can maybe make this we've damaged the oil pan here Ooh, why does the level 9 to 10 it doesn't look as steep this one's really steep okay here we go uh, come on baby oh, okay wait I'm gonna try something a, a little bit different what if we go up backwards now hear me out uh, the way the suspension hangs on the rear, it's getting caught. So if that's what absorbs the first impact, like so, oh, oh, the tire. Oh, man, I was catching the tire a little bit. Oh, my goodness. Why is this more effective backwards? Okay, level 9. Hold on. I think we can make it a level 11. Yeah, this works a little bit better backwards. Not ideal. It'd be better if I didn't have the... Oh, no. 
Okay. So, we've made it this far, and I don't think the flipping is fair as far as taking the vehicle out, because we haven't actually stopped. So I'm going to set it back up here on level 9, because the only damage we have is a little bit of the oil pan, but I'm not really worried about that. Uh, we can back it up. Hold on, let's keep going. I, I think it actually can make this. I think it just went over it a little bit too aggressive. The only bad thing is, is the rear of the spare tire actually catches a bit, so you have to pop it up like this. Okay, there we go. No, I think regardless, we might catch on the center point of this vehicle. No! Okay, one maybe kind of hard hit here. Let's see if we can just pop it up it. All right, here we go. Oh, oh we got rid of our spare tire. Okay. Uh, you know what? That might be a good thing. Hold on, set it back up. Okay, no repairing it. Just setting it back up here. Oh, look at that. Look how quick it gets over. No! I think regardless, it's going to get caught here. Hold on, if I can rock this thing... To get the center part over, Han's hit it at a little angle here. Oh, Han! Oh, it's getting caught on the front. No, I think that's gonna be it for it. Uh, one more little hit here. Come on. I was hoping I'd get lucky and I can get it over this, but I think level nine it is. So I was uh, short two levels here, but you know what? I think that's pretty respectable there. We made it quite a bit further than the D series. All right, so this is kind of an interesting truck. I feel like this one's actually going to do good. So this is obviously your T-Series. This is called the Mud Runner. If I could find the pack that this is in, uh, I have a lot of T-Series mods. A lot of them just have a ton of configurations in it. Uh, I will link this if I can, but I think this one's going to make it. Let's go with level 10. Man, there's 25 levels to this. Once you think about it, that's insane. Like, how are we supposed to make it to the end? We're probably going to have to bring out ridiculous vehicles. Probably do a episode dedicated to uh, just the most ridiculous things we possibly can. Uh, I know a lot of people are going to be like, well, take the monster truck. But hear me out. I don't think the monster truck's going to be as good as people think it's going to be. Like, I feel like it's big tires. Uh, they normally get stuck in objects and the way they kind of bounce. Uh, I'm not sure it's a good idea. We're going to, of course, try it. But I think the answer isn't so obvious for this course. Like, what makes it to level 25 here? You guys saw how steep that was. You almost need something that could ride a wall. What the heck? Oh, you've got to be kidding. Am I really stuck on that? Uh, so the front lip here where the bumper should be connected is totally kind of in the way here. Are we going to need to do this one backwards? Hold on, let's lock the differential real quick. Uh, I might need to hit this a little harder. Uh, nope. Oh my goodness. You've got to be kidding me. It's that little block in the front. All right, let's do it backwards then. Uh, when in doubt, go backwards. I am a little concerned with the end of the truck here. This little point that comes out might also collide. I'm a little disappointed. I actually had high hopes for this one. Hold on, here we go. All right, so we can make it up this one backwards. Like, I think it's got the power to be able to do what we need it to do. It's the frame itself that's getting in the way. Okay, level seven. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. We're going to make it. Yeah, buddy. Dude, this is cool. We had to do a, uh, a heavy hauling in the mud episode with, like, this configuration. Uh, I got some ideas. I need to find the perfect map that's got a ton of mud on it, though. Uh, if you guys have any, uh, comment down below. Let me know what it's called. Okay, level eight. Oh, this is where it's going to stop. There's just no way I make it over this. I need bigger tires. You know, if I can find a pack with big T-Series tires, I know I've got some monster truck wheels, but they won't fit. But say slightly bigger for this configuration, I really do think this one would make it. I'm going to quickly look and see if I have a bigger tire right now. And if I do, we'll continue this because we know it can make it to level seven. If we don't, uh, level seven where it's gonna be at here. I mean, it made it to the D series mark, so that's not too bad, right? So I cycled through about 10 different tires. Uh, that was the biggest tire for this configuration and setup. So, uh, yep, it is gonna be level seven for this big D series. Okay, hear me out. This might be the unlikely hero here. So this is a dune kicker. I think of this morally being ripping across dunes, maybe some stadium truck racing, not so much a crawler, but hear me out. The suspension absorbs so much, and when you hit the gas, you can get the front end to pop up, which is gonna give us some clearance. I am a little concerned. There's like a small push bar uh, that I think is eventually gonna get caught. That seems to be the worst thing with almost like every vehicle like it gets caught on a bumper it's not the whole fact that it couldn't make it up the step it's it's not made to make it up the step we almost just need a vehicle that's just straight up like i would say just tires oh my goodness we got caught on the rear here oh that's embarrassing 
You know, I thought this was going to do a little bit better. Hold on, let's do this from the back. That bar in the back is not great either, where the fuel cell is. Oh, uh, buddy, hunt. All right, got to gun it pretty hard to get it to pop over. There we go. There's level six. Yeah, I think we're going to have to go big or go home here because these smaller ones. Oh, man, we just blew open the fuel tank. Uh, level seven. Uh, it's destroyed. There's something really broken. <laughs> yep. Uh, we're here with the other ones. You notice, like, something common happening here? Level seven seems to be the favorite. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Uh, like 16, 17, 18. Oh, wow. Uh, do we have something with, like, massive tires? You know, I think we're going to be pulling out those cheap vehicles early here. Oh, my. And you know what the thing is? I know somebody, like I said, is going to go random parts. We're going to have to come up with a stipulation because there's no way a random parts vehicle makes it to level 25. It's just not going to happen. All right. Let me think here. Let me formulate a plan. You know, I should have the universal monster frame in. Uh, it's a question of which vehicle is the most balanced for that. I do like the Bastion one. Which, when I say I have it in, apparently I don't have it activated. Let me reactivate that. Uh, I am curious. Hold on. Let's look at this off-road beast. Well, let's not look at this off-road beast because it didn't load in. There must be something broken there. Ah, here we go. All right. So, it's the Ashmaker Monster Frame. It is available on the repo. All you got to do is type in Monster. It's not Monster. It's uh, Monster with the A at the end. Okay, here we go. Uh, is level two. Oh, this is doing it. I am a little concerned. I do feel like this is probably one of the better balanced monster frame vehicles uh, with the Bastion for some reason. It doesn't seem to flip as much. I know I'm going to say that I'm going to flip down here, but uh, from previous experience with this vehicle, this is probably one of my favorite configs in the monster pack. Uh, but I do wonder, like weight wise, maybe we do change it up a bit. Maybe we go even heavier. I mean, the Bastion isn't necessarily a light vehicle, but I feel like Maybe we do it with the truck if this doesn't work. All right, here we go, level seven. Okay, you just got to kind of take your time with it. All right, here comes the next level here. Level eight. You know, I didn't think about a Belaz. Do we think a Belaz can make it up this? The Belaz has giant tires. Like, I think it would crush probably level one through, I would say probably 12, and then it might start to struggle because the front end of the Bastion is, act I mean, not the Bastion, the uh, Belaz is actually kind of low. By the way, we're almost to level 10 here. Oh, we have something going. I think we figured out, you know, big tires are a must. But it's a question of will the tires hold up because that's one thing that Beam and G I still think struggles with. And I don't know if it's because of the mod or if it's because of the game physics. But big tires a lot of times will get caught in stuff. Uh, it kind of like, it's like a luck thing, I would say. <laughs> like whether or not it works. All right, here we go. Level 12. Oh, look how close that bumper's getting. All right, can we make it up this one? Hans, get up here. Okay, let it, let it kind of naturally claw, crawl in. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, this was going to be close. Let the front tires touch. Okay, let's see if we can just ease it up here. Uh-oh. Okay, so what's the strat here, folks? Do we nail it? Come on. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> no, it, it might be level 11. You know, this is the furthest we've made it, but we got a problem here. All right, I'm going to flip it back up real quick. I think it's fair to flip it up. Uh, all right, here we go. Oh, we've got something really, really busted here. I'm going to try to hit it. Let's just try to hit it fast. <laughs> Impact detected. Stopping vehicle. Well, you got to be kidding me. Maybe at an angle here? If I can get that right rear to catch. Oh, hold on. That might be the strat. Okay, come on. No, it's just doing it without flipping it. I want to make it to level 12. Come on, this is the furthest we've made it. No, you've got to be freaking kidding me. I thought, oh, no, it's not over yet. Hold on. Yep. I think the biggest issue is frames, chassis, suspension pieces are always catching on these steps. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. And, you know, I don't think this would be any better with the CRD monster truck, like the uh, really popular monster truck mod, because I think this uses the same frame. So, one more push here. Nope, uh, we're not making it. Turtle on her back. Uh, level 11 for the monster frame. It made it the furthest, but... Oh, man, that's not even halfway. <laughs> Spieler, what were we thinking here? Like, what is going to make... That is a vertical wall. Like, and it's just... It's so tall. Like, how many feet do you think that is? If you're standing here... Oh, man. Okay, uh, back to the drawing board. All right, hear me out here. We've got the Monsta T-Series. So, this one's stretched. You still have the same chassis components, but there's a big gap in there. And is that gap big enough? 
to make this easy. Level five, level six. Yeah, if we do random parts, which I'm sure we will do it. We're gonna have to come up with a stipulation. Maybe we'll have a little bit more of a reasonable goal or something. Like say if by the end of the episode, after so many tries, I, if I don't make it past like level, I don't know, 15 or something, something's gotta happen. Oh my goodness, this one broke. Okay, so th this one touched the chassis a lot sooner. So definitely longer is not better for this. Uh, we have broken, yeah, we're done. I'm gonna drive it off, there's just no way. Like we're, oh yeah, look at that. It's just gonna fall off. All right, level eight it is. Yeah, we're struggling. I mean, to be fair, it didn't make it further than like three other competitors here. At least nobody stopped that besides the first D series, but that was like, it wasn't gonna make it anywhere. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it did better than a lot of the others. All right, so I've got one here. We're gonna do the Stan Beko. And after this, I feel like I'm gonna have to go to cheap vehicles because we haven't made it as far as I've wanted to make it. So, this vehicle, I mean, the bumper's got some decent clearance, but I do think eventually we're gonna get stuck on it. You know, honestly, the Stan Beko with, wait, I wonder if I have a monster Stan Beko. You know, honestly, I feel like that might be the best option here because it's got the support of the uh, the four tires in the back. Yeah, you know what? I actually kind of like that idea. All right, here we go. I mean, of course, the frame itself might still get stuck. That's kind of the issue we've had with it. Oh, why is it not getting up this? Wait, what? Okay, hold on. Let's just slowly edge it up. Okay, come on. There we go. Took it a little bit. Don't I have a... There's like an adjustment I can make in here, right? Does that just raise and lower haunts inflate? I might be at like max inflation, so I don't know if I can make it go up any higher. Uh, but that might be a thing. Hold on, I'm going to pull this up. Let's see if we can make this uh, go just a little bit up here. Okay, everything's locked down. Okay, uh, let's try this again. See if we can get a little bit better. I mean, it's slow right now, but it's not about speed. It's about making it here. Okay, here we go. Oh, that bumper barely clears. I feel like it's not going to get past level six if we even make it to that. Uh, for some reason, this one just doesn't, like, have... The, I don't know if it's, like, the power in the back. Maybe I should just leave. Is the front locked? Uh, let's turn the front... Actually, leave the rear on. Let's turn the front off. Does that help? Oh, that doesn't help at all. You know, this thing I think is screwed. I think this one's gonna be a level five, but that's not all she wrote for the Stan Beko here because I do have a monster frame version of this. Not gonna lie, I was hoping the rear section was gonna have four tires. It doesn't, but something has happened with this one. So look at the body, look how far back it is. Uh, maybe there's a little less gap in between the wheels. This one might actually work. All right, here we go. And we still have the low gear. We can still lock the transfer case uh, case on this one. So so I think the only thing that might happen with this one, uh, I feel like there's quite a bit of weight in the back of it. So it might flip over kind of weird. I'm not sure. Oh, kind of like that. Oh, there goes the door. That's fine. Don't need that. All right, here we go. Level eight. Oh, let it land. It, it does a nice little bounce. So like when you pop the front tire up, it kind of lands. Also, is the body even being held on in the rear? Like that looks so disconnected. Did we just break that? It might be a thing. All right, here we go. There's level nine. Yo, okay. This this is like the perfect balance right now. All right, here we go. Level 10. So let's let it go up. Let it land. Gas it slowly up. There we go. And then let it land again. Don't gas it too hard. You don't want to flip over backwards. Okay, what are we guessing here on this one? I'm gonna say 14. I, I, you know, maybe I shouldn't guess. It seems like every time I've guessed, we've ended up about too short of where I thought it was gonna make it. Okay, there's level 11. All right, here comes level 12. Oh, folks, we might have, have ourselves a winner here. I mean, I got a couple other ideas, but uh-oh. No, you've gotta be, no, not this, I am cursed. Oh, oh, oh. oh. You gotta be kidding me, we made it to 12. I don't think we're making it past this. All right, I need to gas it really hard here. Let's get the front tires on. This is pure skill right here. Oh my goodness, there's level 13. Okay, here we go. Gas it hard. Oh. <laughs> that is one way to try to make it up. We made it to level 13. We were just short of 14. Man, that was good though. You know, 13, not bad. Respectable, but we got to go bigger and better. So real quick, we're going to use the Agent Y ETK 800 resizable. It's been a, a little bit since we've used this. There's two versions of this I want to try. There is one that is ginormous that I think is like a cheat weapon. 
And then there's the donk. Let, let's look at the donk real quick because the donk has really, really big tires. Now, as far as stability and the whole fact that I think the tires are going to collapse or the wheels, uh, well, that's maybe a different story, but let, let's see if this thing can actually make it up. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yep. It's what it's come to, folks. We got to use some cheap vehicles. I, I still think the Belaz is like the finale because I have high hopes for it. I am a little worried because the Belaz has a ladder in the front of it that I feel like it's going to bottom out, but I could be wrong. Look at us. There's level five. It's like overinflated bike tires. That's what it looks like. Oh my goodness. How is this even holding on? Uh, all right, here we go. Level six. By the way, this is the Agent Y mod. Agent Y has probably some of the more creative mods. Uh, and a lot of them are like fully tunable, which is so cool. Uh, all right, here we go. Level seven. Uh-oh. Uh uh oh, we're getting those beam tires getting stuck and stuff. Hold on. Maybe there's traction control kicking in here. Let's see if I can... Oh, no. No, it's not strong enough to pull it. It can't pull itself up. No, <laughs> you got to be kidding me. Well, that sucks. So that's going to be a level six for this. Uh, am I disappointed? Not really. Am I surprised? Not really. I didn't think it was going to make it far. Now, the next one, I have high expectations, but I think we're going to run again into the fact that it's got a massive bumper. We're also still going to be using the ETK resizable here, but we're going to pull out one of the massive ones. Like, it's so massive, it might not even fit on this course. Uh, do we want to go to the big fat cheater here? Let's go big fat cheater. Oh my goodness. Okay, so turn on our NOS, turn off our traction. Our exit's in drift mode, two wheel drive. Let's turn it all off. So, I think the bumper is going to cause issue. Wait a minute. This thing pops a really. Oh, whoa. Look at this. Oh, the tire is deflated. I guess we popped it on what essentially would be almost like a. a oh my goodness, a spike strip or something. You know, if the tires wouldn't pop. Which, I don't know if you could pair this with like an indestructible tire mod. Yeah, the tire is catching every time. Uh, impact detected. Okay, come on, game. Oh my goodness, stop catching. Like, I really legit want to see this thing get up really high because I feel like it could do it. I feel like the tire, the left rear being popped, which I might reset this one. Yeah, it's causing it havoc because it's just catching. Like, it's almost like glue. Like, it'll grab here. Uh, okay, here we go. Level 10. <laughs> is this cheating uh, why does it feel like it's floating i i swear there's something's been changed with the weight properties of this because it's not reflecting how big it is obviously because you see it's almost like bouncing and floating like this thing is defying physics um cheap vehicle yes definitely uh is it better than what we've run maybe not actually uh, i do like that you can kind of pop a willy with it so the bumper's clearing as of right now. There's level 13. Okay, hold on. Come on, at least let me get like up to 15 here. Oh, there we go, there's level 14. Oh my goodness, that was a hit and a half. No, it's gonna flip over. You, okay, we're gonna reset this one. I wanna give this one one more go here. And then I don't think we have an option but to go with the Belaz, try it out, see if it works. Uh, my hopes and dreams are kind of crushed right now. I was thinking this was gonna go a little bit better. There it goes, impact detected, so let it do its thing there. I don't, did we pop a tire there? I don't think we did. Okay, you can stop, stop it. Stupid modern safety measures. Let's go, crank the car up again. We're ready to go. All right, ignition back on. Okay, let it, let it do its thing here. Let it try not to pop its tires. It's bouncy, oh, there we go. Yeah, if we can keep that left rear up, I, I think there's a chance we make it a 15. Come on, oh, oh, oh. By the way, if you guys want to download this map, it will be on Spieler's Patreon. Uh, and then eventually, I think Spieler typically releases on the repo after so long. Uh, so if you can't support there, uh, don't worry. I think we'll get this map. Uh, okay. Oh, crank it back up. I need you to bounce here. Uh, here we go. Oh, we got something going here. Uh, stupid impact detected. Oh, I got to keep the momentum up, actually. Oh, no. Don't you flip over, you pile of... Mm. You know, if you can manage it, I, I really do think 15 is attainable with this. I don't know if I have the patience for that. <sighs> hmm. Blaz. I'm thinking Blaz. So I think we made it up right around roughly this area. By the way, I got to reset my game because somehow out of all my mods, my Blaz one has disappeared. So I have to go uh, grab it again from uh, the BMG forms. So I'm going to go grab it. But I think 
I would say the level between level 13 and 14 is kind of our benchmark today as far as how far we've made it. Let's see what we can do with the mighty Belaz. So in the spirit of cheating, we're using the insane Belaz. Can I remove those stairs? Like, I don't feel like that's a bolt on part, but let me see frame. Uh, there might be a way to rip those off because I feel like that's going to be the bane of my existence is those stairs. Oh, here we go. Stairs empty. That was stair four and stair five. Which stairs were those? They don't, they don't seem to be the, uh, hold on. Uh, is there more stairs? <laughs> like, what if I remove all this? What's the box? Is that the rear? Uh, that might have been something on the upper side. Uh, let me find, let me see if I can find ladder and or stairs. Okay, I found a whole list of stairs here. I'm gonna rip everything off and hope that it gets rid of the front stairs because those are the terrible ones. <gasps> Ooh, I mean, it's a huge bumper, but, or I wouldn't call it the bumper. It's a huge front end, but there's a chance. Without those stairs, like those stairs were gonna be the bane of its existence. Like those were not gonna work, but, oh no. That's what I was talking about, folks. It's those tire physics. Okay, how do I avoid this? It's already, I've got like a bump in one of the tires now. Oh my goodness, okay. Maybe faster's better. No, they catch! You've gotta be freaking kidding me. How, why? Okay, maybe slow? Slow and steady ones. Oh, we have broken something. Okay, let's give it another go. Is the Belaz gonna fail miserably? But it's the tires, they just, they grab. Okay, so I have an even more insane version of this. I'm so sad right now. This version is just the what, how. So I'm assuming it's probably stupidly fast. Oh, and there we go. Are the tires indestructible? Maybe we remove the ladders on this one, hold on. Yo, wait a minute. Wait a minute, I think the tires are stronger on this. Okay, let's remove those stairs again. We might have one that can make it uh, the furthest that we've made it all day. Okay, stairs are gone. Let's do this. It has nothing to catch on now. So hold it wide open here. Come on, baby. Please tell me this is the one. Uh, like, I want to make it. I mean, technically, we have made it halfway. But, man. Like, I don't know of many vehicles that are going to be able to do this challenge. Oh, no. Okay, let's just set it back up. We're good. We're good. Everything's fine. That's probably the point where I'm supposed to start slowing down here. Like, uh, speed past the first part. Is it still going to catch every time on the wheels here? So, yeah, you can see how far the wheels go in, and I think that's what's happening here. Okay, let's keep going. Oh, yeah, look at the right front. It's got, like, a bubble in it right now. Uh, okay. Oh, here we go. Oh, we're still making it right now. Okay, there's level 10. Level 11. Oh, there we go. Oh, she a bouncy. She's a bouncy. Oh, she's really bouncy. Come on, let's go. We got this. Oh my goodness, look at the clearance. Do we have clearance? It's gonna start bottoming out, I think. Oh, buddy. Maybe if it was just the frame with the engine. Actually, the engine sets, I think, really far in the front. So I think you kind of need uh, that whole front part. Oh my goodness, okay, gas it hard here. No, I need you to pop up on the tires. You've gotta be kidding me. Well, folks, hold on, hold on. Oh, and I was able to catch there, okay. Gun it, gun it, try to get that front end to pop up. Ooh, oh no! Okay, go again, go again, hold it wide open. If I get like a good bounce, wait a minute. Can I use the dump bed on this? Does that work? So discharge, shoot, lower, uh, oh, there's a stairs button. Wait, you could actually lower, I mean, so you're telling me that wasn't necessary to get rid of them? Actually, it, they probably still would have hung out a little bit. So I got, a, I got a theory here. If I shift the weight up, will this make it pop a willy? Like, I feel like, okay, you don't want it too far up because you don't want the back end to hit. Hold on, let's see if this helps. It's almost like the weight, since this is a cheap version of it, like the weight doesn't really matter. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Yeah, buddy. Okay, that's level 14. Can we get to 15 here? Uh, I need you to do the thing. Okay, you're gonna have to pop up on. Uh, oh, oh, let's raise that back up even further. I, I need it to, I need it to give a little bit with me. I am short by like a couple feet here. I need you to, okay, see if we can rock the boat here. All right, come on, come on, go. Oh, did it just die? Oh, oh, it's trying to stall out right now. Okay, hit it at an angle maybe? Oh no, I think 14 is gonna be it. Here, let's try angle hitting. Uh, oh, I can't catch, it's just gonna bounce off every time. 
Well, I mean, the Balaz definitely was the one that made it, but look, we still have levels 15 through 25 to go, and my goodness, I think we need a flying creation. That's the only way to get to the top of the stairs here.